Hello everybody. In one of my previous videos I demonstrated how to automate an Internet Explorer application to opening up a web page and then entering data into a web form. But when I was showing this I showed how you can click a command button in a web form. But what I did not show is how you can click a hyperlink. So in this video I'm going to show how you can use the Internet Explorer application to open up a web form, click a hyperlink, and then fill in data. So I've already set up this code, but I'm going to show you how I set up this code and the process that I took to actually put it together. Um, first off, you want to open up the Internet Explorer application, and that's really all these three lines of code do. It, all we do is create a variable, call it IE, and we're just naming, calling that as an object. We create the object as Internet Explorer application, and then we set the window to be visible. Very simple, pretty straightforward. And then, of course, the variable ie.navigate to the website that we go to. And in this case, we're going to be looking at aol.com. And this is going to be the page that we'll be looking at. And what we're going to do is create, we do this loop right here that we're pretty much waiting for the page to be completed. It's just do, do events, loop until ie.readyState is equal to 4, which if you were looking at my screen, my previous window I was looking at the MSDN library to look at the ready state properties and I know this is a C, C++ developers reference but the ready state property is the same for C, C++, Visual Basic and so we're gonna be the code is different of course but the properties are still the same so we're waiting until the page is complete and then the next thing that we do is we're gonna look at all the hyperlinks and and what we're using here is the Internet Explorer application property for get elements by tag name. And what we're looking at is the the A tag, which in this case would be like um, if you are a web designer, you know that the hyperlinks is pretty much a href equals, and then you have the the URL. In this case, it'd be something like this: aol.com. And then of course you'll say click here, and then you close the tag. So all we're doing is we're looking at all the tag elements that have the letter, I mean that have A, which are going to be the hyperlinks. And then we're just going to create a for loop. The next close out the for loop, we're just going through every single hyperlink that we have. And what we're doing is we're looking at the inner text, which again, this is the inner text is a property of Internet Explorer that, that application. And we're seeing that if the link says sign up, then what we do is we click the link and then we exit the for loop. The for loop is just going to throw us out of this statement right here. That way we can go to the next code. And what we're going to try to do is click the sign up link that's on the AOL page on the top. This link right here. The next thing that happens here is that we wait. We do a do do events loop until ie.readyState is equal to 3. The ready state 3 is interactive. Pretty much we're waiting for the hyperlink like once it gets clicked we're waiting to see that the web page begins to communicate with the server saying that we're requesting the sign up page and so then once the program establishes that it's interactive then we wait for the page to be complete again which was ready state 4 4 means the page is complete now what I needed to do to create this code is I went to the sign up and I went to, I right clicked it and used view page source. And what I looked for is first name. Now, I'm not sure how familiar you are, of course, with web design. I am an ASP.NET developer, and a lot of the things that I create are, I, I program a lot with C Sharp, and I mean, I'm pretty familiar with HTML and what to look for. In this case, um, if you're not a web designer, this part may be a little bit more lengthy for you, but I mean, you, all you have to do is just look look at the code. For the most part, after working working with it for a few hours or maybe even a few minutes, you'll start to see how these web forms are are created. And it's pretty pretty easy to recognize. In this case, first name's right here. We have the label, but that's really not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is the input type. So we have input type text. The name is action form dot first name id first name max length fifteen. So this is the field that we want to put in the the first name now 
you kind of have to play around a little bit here with your Internet Explorer application because you, if you notice I'm using get element by ID the first time that I put this code in I tried using first name but that didn't work out so I went on and tried using this ident identification name it said action form dot first name and this worked for me so sometimes you just kinda have to play around every web form is built different um, so let's go on and try this code out though because the next thing that we're gonna do is once the page is loaded we're going to put the code in so let's go on and execute this code and see how it works I'm gonna hit the play button so the page is loading up it's clicking sign up and then it enters the field Alex for a first name so I mean there's um, obviously there's a lot more of the form to build out you still need to do the last name uh, pick a username create a password confirm password and then you do the date of birth but I just want to show a real quick example on how to click a hyperlink in this video and also if for any reason you don't want to uh, use the get element by ID property there's always send keys it's not one that I, I don't recommend using send keys they're not as reliable but it still is another solution I just want to show you what send keys will do all it pretty much is doing is simulating the keyboard I can do send keys Alex and then tab to go to the next field. So if I was here, hit tab, it's going to go to last name. After that, um, tab again. So I'm going to do send keys username 12345 and then send keys tab. And then send keys for. actually I did that wrong this should be last name right here last name and then the username so let's try this out it should work uh, I'm gonna but like, like I mentioned those send keys can sometimes be unreliable so I'm gonna go on and play this code though and there you go it it actually did work but looks like this username is already taken but just to give you that demonstration that the send keys is another method for filling out these these boxes and Again, not too reliable, but it is another option. Hope you all enjoyed this video. This now concludes it. Thank you for watching.